In this quick video, I'm going to show you how you can use the new Project for the Web with Project Online using OneConnect. So I'm logged in here in Project Online, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a new project. So I'm going to use my simple EPT, and I'm going to call this one Wine Tasting Fundraiser. It's a fundraiser event for our support team. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Finish. Now that my project is created in uh, Project Online, I can traditionally use Project Desktop or I can use the Project Web Accesses online planner here. Uh, but since we want to use the new project for the web and all its great experience for our customers and, and users, I'm going to go ahead and close this and check this project in. And now you'll see here, I have my wine tasting fundraiser project. And across the top here in my ribbon, you can see that uh, Project Online here is connected to a several different uh, planning tools, one for OnePlan, Azure DevOps, Jira, Office 365 Planner, and now you'll see the new Project for the Web. So I'm going to go ahead and click on Open Project for the Web, and you'll notice here it's recognized that the, the project does not exist in CDS, and so what it's going to do is go ahead and create the project. So now that we've created the project, I'm going to go ahead and go back here and say open in Project for the Web. All right. So now I have my wine tasting fundraiser project in Project for the Web. And just to kind of give you an example, I'm just going to build a few tasks in here. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is get a, a event location. Then I'm going to need to get permits uh, for that location. I need to find some printing services for um, invitations and banners and signs. I need to build a uh, food plan, uh, maybe a wine tasting plan. That'd be something good to do. Um, and maybe, uh, let's say, music plan. So it's some music we got to pull together here. So just kind of give you an idea of some things we need to get done. Um, then I can simply assign this to people. What I'm going to do is actually connect this to an existing group that I have today. That's it's my... Uh, world-class customer support team. This is a group that we use already, and so it has all my team members in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and start assigning these to some people. So I'm gonna go ahead and give this one to Daniel and the permits. Uh, Daniel will do that as well. Maybe printing services, we'll give that to Kono. And the food services, we'll give it to Steve Masters and uh, Woo Fats. And so we'll go ahead and uh, Kono will also take on the music plan. So basically I've been able to sign out some of these tasks and, and um, activities to these different uh, resources. The next thing I need to do is build out a schedule. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my columns in here, start and finish. And I'm gonna give it maybe, it's gonna take us five days, a week or so to find the event. Uh, permits always take a while, so let's give that 15 days. Printing services will take us about 10 days to, to get some stuff pulled together. We get a food plan done in about five. This is the main events, the wine tasting, so we'll have to give that a couple weeks and then the music we can probably pull together in about three days. So we kind of have our, our duration here of activities. Um, and I'm gonna just build the schedule out real quick. Just gonna show how we can pull this together. And so now I've made these dependents across each, each one of these tasks and I ha now have my schedule. So if I start today, uh, I can essentially get this plan ready to go uh, by March. Now with OneConnect, this will periodically synchronize back into Project Online, uh, or I can come back into Project Online and I can force a sync. And so basically I just made the changes, so I want it to come back into Project Online right now. And so by forcing the sync, it's gonna go out to CDS, grab all the tasks, assignments, uh, schedule, and bring it back into Project Online so we can view who's working on what against all the other projects that have already been published into Project Online using Project Desktop or Project for the Web or other tools as well. All right, so now you'll see that uh, this has been synchronized back into Project Online. So what we'll do is just drill into Project Online. And so we can take a quick look at the schedule. So here you'll see, um, the event location, permits, printing services, food, wine tasting, music. Got my durations. I got um, my 
resources assigned, I have my work. And so now resources can come in here and track uh, time against these tasks. I can view resource um, assignments and allocation against other work in here. Um, and so this again will be periodically updated based on uh, people updating their uh, project for the web. So it's that easy. And so one of the things I wanted to show here as well is uh, setting this up is, is really easy for uh, end users. So we use OneConnect, which is a Wickersoft product. And here you'll see I'm logged in and I have quite a few different connections set up. So, you know, project with one analytics, which is SQL. I'm going to come and drill down here and I'm going to find the one that's connected to this one. So this is project online to project through the web. And I'm going to open that up real quick. And I'm going to show here that we have project online map to project for the web. And so as an end user, uh, you can come in here and when it is extensible to other fields or you want to map different fields, I can come in here and select fields. I can see what task fields are being synchronized back and forth. Actually, you can't synchronize to Project for the Web, but what's coming out of Project for the Web. So you can see these are all the ones coming out. But once Project for the Web is extensible and you can start adding in new fields, uh, you can actually come in here, select those fields here, map which way you want them to go uh, in the integration here. You can also set up the scheduling. So how often do you want this to be updated and synchronized? And so you can set that scheduling up here as well. So you see this right now is on a daily, but you can move it to hourly. Um, or half days or whatever it might be. So this is using OneConnect to connect Project for the Web with Project Online.